guys hello guys welcome back to my channel it is Kemi here again it's a beautiful Saturday morning here in Winnipeg Manitoba Canada I'm sorry guys if you can hear the I'm actually on the road I'm on the streets we are outside and it is four degrees you can see me I'm wearing my meeting and um, today the point of this vlog is that I'm going to the food bank yes so i've always learned i've heard that there's a food bank there's a food bank there's a food bank <laughs> guys can you see that <laughs> oh no sorry to digress i digress now i remember when we just came when we came we came during summer and then temperature was like 16 or so and then we won't even go out was it 16 18 16 18 ish you know and we couldn't go out because it was very cold and now this is four degrees and i'm out i am out here as in yes it was even worse so today the temperature ranges from four degrees to i think 13 but yesterday it was minus three to six degrees as in that was the lowest and oh guys my butt I'm sorry as I was saying the other time um, like even yesterday was minus one degree to six degree I believe this was where I stopped right and now see it is even better today but still the cold can you see can you guys see that I, I can see it in case you can't see it I just want to show you something guys look um what do they call them now is this squirrel yeah squirrel life and direct but guess what uh, guess what you dare not touch the animal as in you dare not even you as a car you must not hit them so my point is that i'm going to the food bank now i have an appointment for 10 a.m I already had an appointment before but i missed it and i was told that they frown at no shows that is they already planned for you so if you said you were gonna come then you should come they don't like if people miss those appointments so today i made sure that i keep up with the appointment i just want to see like what am i gonna get like i've heard people say oh there's a food bank there's a food bank there's a food bank but i've never really attended so today i'm here to really experience the food bank and um you know just see so i'm not sure i'm definitely not gonna be able to film when i'm in there but definitely when i get back home or my way back home i'll continue this video and also when i get back home i'm going to show you what i got from the food bank so if you're new here thank you for watching once again and if you're a returning subscriber you guys eh? You keep me doing this. You are the guys who keep me, you know, bringing on my camera every time to document this journey. So, don't forget to subscribe. That is very important. You know, it's not cool if you watch and you don't subscribe. Go cool now. Go, go cool. Yeah, so please subscribe. Like this video. So, when you like the video, you know, it um, allows YouTube to distribute it to more people. And also drop a comment in the comment section. Uh, as i would love to <laughs> read from you i would love to hear from you and also reply to your comments see how everywhere is quiet i can't even see anybody walking on the road it's like i'm the only one on the road can you see guys and it's so beautiful because it's four it's um almost to 10 already and everywhere is just so quiet and it is well anyways 
so see you guys when i'm done bye guys so hi guys um i'm back from the food bank it's exactly one hour after my appointment you know i said the appointment was for 10 but then they didn't start until about 10 30 and now let's talk about my experience sorry guys i'm on the road apologies but i hope you can hear me um i'm just at the bus stop now waiting for the next bus that's gonna take for the bus that is going to take me home which is going to arrive in a, like another five minutes so my point is that when i got there there was a lot of people so um, my observation is that everyone can actually assess the food at the food bank so how did i get it? how did i get to assess i called the number as a newcomer if you already have your health card they ask for your health card number if you don't have your health card number they give you a special code so getting a special code is like name any of any fruit and any um year like a number combination so that's what you tender and then you show them an id so when i so when i got there i just gave them the my special code and showed them my id just to be sure that i was the same person and guys that was when the adventure started so when i get home i'm going to show you guys like all of the things i got but guess what there was a problem there was a good problem the good problem was that i didn't have enough bags you know when i got there at first and i saw people holding even with carts right and people had like five bags i was like ah, kilo day are we gonna actually gonna get so much food as that but i went with just my short shopping cart can you see so there's this shopping cart i got from walmart this was what i went with but actually it wasn't sufficient so i have the shopping cart and i still had like extra things like a carton yeah this is the carton yeah um so when i get home guys i'm going to show you guys like everything i have in there like the whole thing so you can understand what i mean so if you're a winnipeg already or i don't know and you've not been assessing food from food bank i don't know if this is right to say but you've just been shooting yourself in the food because this this services so actually from what i learned like harvest manitoba which is like a non a charity organization a non-for-profit like they are also getting grants or they are being funded to provide these services and from what i learned they for every food bank day they cater for as much as 170 families guys 170 families and there was something for everyone so if you don't mind if for now i feel me i think i'm still going to continue to assess this service until probably i don't have time or i just feel like uh, maybe I'm that comfortable and I feel like other people should have, you know, access to it, of which there's even enough for everyone. There are different centers. It's just the center that is closest to me. There are other centers like round Winnipeg, South Winnipeg, downtown Winnipeg and all of that. So that's it, guys. Once again, please don't forget to like this video. Please like it. Huh? Subscribe, turn on post notifications and I'll see you when I get back home, right? Bye, guys hi guys so i am back home like i promised i want to unbox my food stuffs from the food bank so the first thing okay this one so because it's thanksgiving um there was a raffle they had some items to give so we all picked the number and guess what my number was called so i got this this for i think for grilling for washing the grill something like that so i got this this one is uh, the next thing okay so there was also a section for uh, clothes so i saw this and i thought my daughter would like it it's actually new it's like a towel and thank god it's winter now so once she's out of the bathroom she just like puts this on i have come and take come and see something i got from the <laughs> so once she's out of the come if she's out of the washroom she's just gonna you know put it over her head so just keep it we're gonna wash this keep it aside so i got bread so i was hard to i wanted two i knew that so i just got one the other one was wheat bread so this is a very good bread it's a rye bread canadian rye i got eggs um this is how many now 12 honey yeah 12 eggs i got veggies this is uh, romaine so you could actually pick any veggie you want either cabbage or spinach and all of that but because we've been doing a lot of um sandwiches and then um, 
shawarma and uh, what again have we been using this one so i decided to go for this so veggies there guess what guys because it's Thanksgiving, i got chicken there's also chicken it's a full chicken um yeah full chicken from the food bank yes also section of clothing i got the sandal for my daughter like you could pick anything you want so i saw this sandal and i got this for her it's george i'm not sure if this is gonna size her here but we'll just keep it aside um we got yogurts there's three of these i think okay let me show you there's chips yeah there's chips also I think I have to refry this. I don't know yet. Yeah, I think I have to fry it. It's frozen though, so this goes into the freezer. I got chips. I got yogurt for. So it actually depends on. Um, so they had. They already it's have a record. It's your size. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> so there's a record already. They will know the number of children you have. So it depends on the number of children. That brings me to the milk. So for someone who had maybe five in the family, they get maybe two, two of these. So this is milk. I got milk too. I got yogurt. So I think it depends on if you have children, there are some things you can get. If you have babies also, they have a section for diapers and um, other baby items, you know, if you're nursing. I got cheese. Yeah, cheese. Even though we don't eat cheese, but... I don't know, I guess it's gonna work for some recipes. So we have cheese here. Um, I got carrots. Yes, carrots. There was, um, this is my wallet now. Potatoes, onions. There was beetroot because I don't, we don't really use beetroot, so I didn't take the beetroot. There was onions and potatoes. Uh, more potatoes and more potatoes and um, red onion yeah onion and then I was also given like an hand sanitizer so this is what I have here now let's go into the box where's my knife yeah so there was also this one that was already packed you just have to pick a box so you don't really know what's in there so i don't know what's in there either so we just check together oh nice so in here first is sugar sugar i have peanut butter peanut butter I have keto friendly creamy cauliflower cauliflower sorry I don't know what this is gonna go for but you still have it there I have tomato paste I have more creamy cauliflower I think this is for what now ready to serve I don't know maybe it's like a Maybe you can have this with um, fries or something. I don't know what that is for. Um, tomato paste again. Tomato sauce. This is Heinz. Alpha Getty. Tomato sauce. Small tomato sauce. I have... Oh, what is this? <laughs> All this foreign... It's called chestnuts. I don't know what it is, but... Also, I'm going to find out what this can be used for. Sliced water chestnuts. Um, I have um, corn. Yeah, sweet corn for fried rice. So, I guess Thanksgiving fried rice is done. I have more sweet corn. I have um, pasta. Or is it called macaroni? Yeah. Pasta. I have crackers, yeah, biscuits, crackers. And then the last but not the least is a kitchen towel. So it is a really um, good trip. I guess it was worth it. So let me just put it together. Every 
everything I got from the food bank. Next appointment, I think, is in another three weeks or so. So I'm probably going to make another trip down there in three weeks. But this time, planning properly, having enough bag to grab all the things. So like I said, if you want to access the food bank, all you need to do is go online. If you're in Winnipeg, just search for Harvest Manitoba. If you search for Harvest Manitoba, there's a, I think that's like the central, um, central units or something like that. That's like the front desk. So when you call Harvest Manitoba, they're going to ask if you have a Manitoba health card. If you have one, you get a number. If you don't have one, it's maybe because you just arrived. You just give you a code. You get a special code, which you're going to tell them when you get to the food bank. And then show an ID. And um, they're going to link you to the nearest um, food bank to you. That is the one that's closest to where you live. They're going to ask for the number of people in your family. So that also tells what they're planning for each person. So that's it, guys. Don't forget, like I said, uh, please like this video. Liking this video shows that you enjoy the content and also it helps youtube or it allows youtube to distribute this content to more people to watch and to benefit from it um subscribe if you are watching and you've not subscribed please subscribe now is the red button you can see there um drop a comment in the comment section i would like to read from you if um you've also accessed the food bank before if you're already in um canada let me know um what did you get was it bigger than this did you have more things than this or it was enough to these and um if you have any questions just drop it in the comment section i'll answer it and so that's it guys that's my trip to food bank and see you in the next one bye guys